Well, so in this video, we're going to talk about Pro Tools 2022.4. Now, there's so many new features, but in this video, we're going to talk about those features that caught my attention. Now, right away, everything looks the same as previous versions of Pro Tools, but there are some differences. One of the differences that caught my attention right away is when you create a new track. That looks the same, but if we click the drop down window, so right away, you're going to notice some of that TDM. Well, did I just say TDM, but Pro Tools HD features. Close that. And remember, guys, I love the keyboard shortcuts. In order to open this, it's Control Shift N. Now, the other thing that I noticed, if we go to options, check this out. Heat. It was introduced back in the TDM Pro Tools HD era, and it was exclusive to that. You activate heat, you go over to the mixer window. And in order to do that without using the mouse, Control Plus. There's no tracks here. Let's open the new tracks dialog. And you know what? Let's just create five audio tracks. There we go. And for the fun of it, let's also create a master track. So now if we click right here, check this out. We got this heat option. He also has his own individual control. So if we click right here, check this out. So if you guys are going crazy trying to figure this out, just click right here. Remember, click all the way to the left of the little box. Because if you click it to the right of the box, it's not going to open. Honestly, I've experimented with it a little bit. It sounds pretty awesome. The way heat works, it's kind of like what Plugin Alliance does with their plugins. If you put the channel strip across the whole entire session, they all sound slightly different. Just like in the real world, if you have an SSL or a Neve console, each individual channel is going to sound slightly different than the other. Now, this next thing isn't really a feature, but I know there are some people out there that saying that Avid dropped the UE protocol and that isn't true. So if we go over to setup, peripherals, and we go to MIDI controllers. Check this out. I'm using my Fatal Port 8. It works great. So we still have Huey. Yes, I also have a Yukon uh, mixer, which is already old and it's starting to die. So yeah, I just picked up one of these and look, it, it works great. Still have all the functionality. So I'm able to control Pro Tools without an issue. So this next option, I think it's pretty neat. Check this out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to consolidate some random spots here. By the way, if you want to consolidate the way I'm doing it, randomly select the spot, Alt Shift 3, and it consolidates. Now, if you want to consolidate something that's already there, for example, let's say we have some audio here. We can select everything by Control A and then using the exact same shortcuts, which is Alt Shift 3, and there you go. Let's undo that. So if I select this, check this out. This is pretty neat. So I'm processing each individual clip. Now you couldn't do that before. And we also have a dynamic section. You know, this next functionality is something that I remember using with Pro Tools HD, but it's something I've been wanting in the vanilla version of Pro Tools for quite some time. So now on the first track, if you click an empty spot, Press the Windows key, the up arrow, you're going to make the track bigger. And if we click right here, check it out. We have advanced automation functionality now. The trim automation. I've been wanting trim inside of Pro Tools for quite some time. This is a feature that only existed either in HD or Ultimate. And the last thing might be overkill for some. If I go to new and select 512 tracks, guess what? We have that capability now. Again, a bit overkill, but it is totally possible. All right, so I have 512 audio tracks. 